Can you write JavaScript? Yes, I can write JavaScript. I'm trained in a massive data set of text and code, including JavaScript. Finally, Bard can write JavaScript. Because, you know, when I was released, it didn't have that ability, but now it can. Now, just a little warning, it does say Bard with an experiment tag next to it, so anything we may find out in this video, don't take it too seriously because they're still working on it. And also, I'm gonna throw it a little curveball because I wanna actually see React using TypeScript. After all, who codes in JavaScript anymore? anymore. <laughs> but if I were to do a React app, I would use TypeScript. That's what I would do. You can do you. I'll do me. Here we go. Okay, look at that. Here's a simple to-do app using React and TypeScript. It gave me the whole code. Well, it didn't split it up into components, but that shouldn't matter. It should still work. Let's try it out. One thing to note here is that it didn't give me instructions on how I create my app. It just gave me the code. But I didn't ask for complete instructions, to be fair. So that's fine. I'm going to use my own instructions, which is npx create React app to do's, that's the name of the app. And I'm gonna give it the TypeScript template and save your comments about not using Create React App. That's not for this video, that's for another video. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, Create React App is not the recommended approach anymore, but it's still easy as hell, so I'm gonna do it. We're gonna pop this open and there's my code. So I just need to copy all this code. Unfortunately, there is no convenient copy code button. So I have to select it manually and copy it. I'm gonna create a new TSX file here, todos.tsx and paste in the code. TypeScript is complaining because we're using any, but I'm just gonna leave this alone and see if this works. In my root app.tsx, I'm gonna delete all the existing stuff and just import to do's component there. Control backtick and VS code to open up the terminal. And I do need to do an NPM install to install all the packages and then NPM start to kick things off. There's a development server starting up and ugh, oh, it's got some compilation problems. It's not running. Luckily, these are just TypeScript issues, but if you're a noob, you're probably not gonna know what the heck this is. Let's see if it's easy to fix. I'm gonna go back to to do's and I'm gonna type some of these things and I'm gonna just take the lazy approach and use any. I like strict typing, but it's not always a luxury that we can have. There we go. Look at that. Now, I have to say that I did try this recently and it didn't work at all. Not at all. The code it gave me was just utter. I'm not even going to say. I am going to say. It was utter. So just a few days later, it's already better. We have an input here. Uh, oh, 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 that's that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. This is better than it was, but it's still not good. So when I type in something into this field, every time I have a keystroke, it adds a new item, which is just wrong. It should not add a new item when I have a keystroke. Let's see if these deletes work. Oh, delete deletes the entire list, not just one single item. Complete? Yeah. When I click complete, it completes all the items and uncomplete just doesn't work at all. So it created the app. It looks like it might work. It looks like it can code, but no. Hey, experiment, okay? It says experiment clearly right there in a nice little tag with a beautiful font. You're gonna need to do some legwork when you're working with this tool. Now, what about ChatGPT? Our good old friend ChatGPT. I'm gonna select the GPT-4 model and I'm gonna paste the exact same thing here. First, I'm gonna prompt it with, can you write JavaScript? Just so that we're on equal footing, okay? Yes, I can write JavaScript code. If you need help with a specific task or problem, please let me know. Fair enough. Oh, it's giving me, <laughs> it's it's proving that it can write JavaScript. It's giving me an example right there. Thanks. It was enough for you to tell me that you can. Now, this one right here is the next move. Write a to-do app in React using TypeScript. Let's go. I'll provide a simple example of a to-do app using React and TypeScript. To get started, make sure you have Node.js installed. This one provides me the steps that I need to get set up. It tells me what prerequisites I need, which is Node. Here is the command to run to create the app, which is what I did before. And now it's telling me to replace the content of the app.tsx file with the following code. It's putting everything inside one file, which is not ideal, but we're gonna see if it works before making any complaints or assumptions. Now, I did run this recently as well using ChatGPT, and it gave me a completely different answer with nice structure, different files inside a components folder. And I prefer that structure because it componentizes all the different parts of the app. Here, it just throws everything together. Probably has to do with the way I structured my my query and hang out just a bit because I'm going to give you what query I gave it to generate separate files in the end. All right, let's copy this code into our app.tsx file. We're just going to follow the instructions here and let's see if this works. There's the React app. We have a input field with a button this time. Item one, add to do, and there it is. Item two, 
add to do. Perfect, that's working. We can delete each item at a time, that's good. But I see that there is no completion. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's that's wonderful. In order to complete the item, I just have to click on it, which is actually pretty user-friendly, especially if you're doing something for mobile. So this works perfectly out of the box. It's only one component, but you can separate it out and refactor it if you want to. You can even ask ChatGPT to refactor it for you. But the point is that it works, whereas Bard is still experimental, doesn't work. It looks like it might work, but it doesn't. I'm sure this is just a temporary state of being for Bard. Now, here's the query that I gave uh, Bard and ChatGPT earlier that gave me completely different results. The query was create a to-do app in React with TypeScript. And in this case, Bard completely fails because while it does give me some instructions, even how to open this in Visual Studio Code, it failed to actually give me component code. So it gave me loose code without any component that I had to put into a separate component file and it ended up just crashing and not working at all. Whereas the ChatGPT version did a really nice breakdown of all the files. It had a separate model file for the to-do item. Then it had the components folder with a separate to-do TSX file to do list TSX file and to do input TSX file. It also told me how to modify the main app.tsx file to get everything bootstrapped. So slightly different query, completely different results, which is something you should expect. That's the update on Bard. It can code, but uh, it doesn't actually give useful output. And this is just for React and TypeScript. There's other languages. Yeah, there's other languages and there's other frameworks. Can you believe it? It might actually work on some of those. Did you try it with anything else? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure other people would want to know as well. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you in the next one.